let's be honest, Home Assistant learning curve is steep. And although Home Assistant onboarding process is quite intuitive, it can leave you with the feeling that you are missing something. Even if everything is fine with the onboarding, it is possible to get stuck and to not know what to do after that. With every new release, things got more user-friendly, but also new features are introduced, causing confusion and overwhelming of the new Home Assistant users. As I'm often seeing in my Discord and in the comments under my content, the newcomers don't know where to go and what to do after Home Assistant installation. In such cases, it is somehow more natural and easier to just freeze and do nothing. Don't do that and just continue watching this video and I'll try my best to guide you through the whole Home Assistant onboarding process. But not only that, I'll share some tips and tricks and I'll try to give you directions what to do after the Home Assistant onboarding. To further help you, I prepared a Smart Home glossary where I'm explaining all the strange words and abbreviations that are commonly used in most of the Smart Home related articles and videos. You can instantly download that glossary free of charge on my website automatealike.pro slash glossary. Now, uh, let's start this video. After successful Home Assistant installation, you should see similar screen. This is where you can set your username and password. No need of a lot of explanations here, just choose your favorite nickname or your real name and type it. Choose a secure password, especially if you plan to access your Home Assistant outside of your local network at later stage. Did you saw this little link right here? If you're a first time Home Assistant user, you will not need this, but you may need it later, so I'll try to explain it. That means you can grab your Home Assistant backup file and you can use this link to restore your installation. Quick tip, if you are facing some difficulties understanding the different Home Assistant installation types or you have hard time installing Home Assistant, check my free webinar available at automatelike.pro slash webinar. The exact link is in the video description. I'm trying to show and explain everything there and it will only cost you several minutes of your time and exactly zero dollars. Going to next step on which you can enter your home name, you can set where you live, your time zone and whether you're using metric or imperial unit system, as well as your currency. When I'm ready, I'll hit create account. And this is the next step where I can set my home name. For example, home test. I can set my location or I can click detect. And this will set your approximate location. I can select my time zone from here, my elevation. This data is not shared with anyone else. So you can freely type your real values here on top. If you enter your exact location and elevation here, your sun-based automations will work accurately. For example, you can create the following automation. When sun is setting, turn on the lights now and not six hours later due to wrong location. I can also choose my unit system as well as my currency. For example, USD, or GBP, whatever, doesn't matter. You can click on this link to find your exact value. I'll click next. From this step, you can set your preferences, whether you want to share anonymized information from your installation to help Home Assistant to become better. I personally always activate these options, but you can freely choose otherwise. If you are interested how your data is processed, you can click on this link and you can read the documentation. Also, you can go to analytics.home.io 
and you can see the result of the collected statistics. I'll go back to my onboarding process and I'll click next. Next dialog is very interesting. Home Assistant may discover and will allow easy configuration on many different ZeroConf, MDNS and UPnP devices on your network. These are devices that are currently turned on and connected to your network and which advertise their presence in such a way that anyone who is interested, in our case Home Assistant, may find them and may interact with them. Your device list will be probably different, and that is totally fine. You can try to configure any of the discovered devices right away by just click on them or you can leave that part for later and click on the finish button. I can select any of these discovered devices, for example this one, submit, finish, and it is already configured, as you can see. Or I can skip this and I can click finish. And this is it, this is the Home Assistant dashboard. If you forgot to configure any of the auto discovered devices, you can do so by going to Home Assistant, configuration, and you see the same auto discovered devices that you saw during the Home Assistant onboarding process. And you can finish configure them whenever you wish. From configuration settings general, you can also change all of the things that you set during the Home Assistant onboarding process. That is in case you missed something or you enter something incorrectly. And that was the Home Assistant onboarding. From now on, the real home automation fun begins. But how exactly? Probably at this stage, you either have all of your smart devices auto-discovered by Home Assistant and you manage to successfully configure them. That case is more unlikely to happen, but if you manage to do it, congratulations, you are ready to start creating automations. But most probably, the reality will hit you like a bus and you will face some issues integrated your smart devices with Home Assistant. In such case, you can search for help on several places. First is Home Assistant documentation. You can go there and just type your device of interest. Then you can read the documentation and implement the steps. If you don't want to read, you can always try YouTube by just type Home Assistant space your device name. For example, Shelly. There are plenty of good tutorials for the most of the popular smart brands and devices. And if you are a visual person, you can just follow them. Home Assistant is also having a great community of users who are more than willing to help each other out. You can go to the Home Assistant community forum where you can describe your issue and ask for help. Your other options are to join the official Discord server of the Home Assistant or you can join my Discord server, where we have a dedicated Home Assistant channel. The exact links can be found in the video description. Hope this was helpful for you. Warm welcome from me if you're just starting out. I'm Kirill and I'm done speaking. Bye!